So Anastasia, since Russian intervention, what is it like for the people of Ukraine? Um, it's actually just been really hard for us. We've had riots going on and protests all over the place, so it's kind of just been really hectic for us and crazy. Is anyone doing anything about the public outburst? Um, as of right now, the government is trying to step in and do something about it, but instead of trying to make peace, they're just adding more violence and it really isn't helping the situation. So what would you like to see from the government? Um, I'd like to see the government, if they can, still try to step in and help the situation out, but without all the violence. What is your biggest concern? Uh, my biggest concern is that uh, the West is going to get involved and that it's just going to become a whole other world war with everybody getting involved when it doesn't really need to. Hi, I'm here with Russia's President Vladimir Putin to talk about the Ukrainian crisis. Why did you find it necessary to intervene? We found it necessary to intervene because we felt that the Ukrainians were losing control of the situation that the only way that the way they could get control of it was if a Russian superpower was to come in, which is why we decided to intervene in the uh, situation. Do you think because of this the U.S. will get involved? Um, in such a small um, situation like this, the U.S. should not get involved in, because I feel like that because it's such a small situation and that we are trying to handle it by ourselves, that if the U.S. would get involved, that would only cause a bigger problem. Do you have a plan of what you will do if they intervene? Um, unfortunately, if the U.S. intervenes, we, there's not much we can do about it because they're going to do what they want and we're going to do what we want. And we have allies and they have allies. So if, we, if they were to get involved, we could be looking at a larger warfare than what we have right now. So what is your overall goal for this? Well, there's a lot of goals that we have, but our main overall goal is to just bring peace to um, Ukraine and to take care of the situation and um, hopefully get whoever that we don't want in power out of power and get whoever we want in power in power down there. Okay, thank you for your time. Hi, I'm thank here with Dale to talk about the Ukrainian crisis. So Dale, how much do you know about the Ukrainian crisis? Uh, I ain't overly familiar with the situation, but what I do know is that the uh, Russians are in, they're planning on invading the Ukrainians and that the U.S. has been looking at it and they might be getting involved. What do you think the Americans should do? Um, in my opinion, I feel like this is a human rights issue and that the U.S. should get involved with Russia, even if that could cause some other conflicts, such as a World War III situation. I think that'd be best because I feel like they're being treated unfairly by the Russians and that the uh, situation needs to be resolved a little bit better. Do you have any other comments to make? Um, all I can really say is that I support whatever the executive does and that I support the military 100%. And hopefully we don't have to go to conflict, though. Okay, thank you for your time. In order for peace and stability to be brought to Ukraine, a liberalist approach must be taking, taken. The Ukraine people need to be able to work with the government to find a peaceful solution. At the same time, the government cannot use violence to get what they need because that only makes the people mad and gets other countries involved, such as Russia. We propose that the people form a union and meet with the government to talk about these issues in a secluded um, to, cons to a consensus to resolve the issue in Ukraine. By doing this, we can achieve peace without losing innocent lives and having this grow into a bigger conflict with Russia and the West. If Ukraine decides to take a realist approach, the citizens must stand up for what they want in order to do what they believe will be right for Ukraine, and they must stand by it. That will give them the freedom to enable Ukraine to be free. By doing this, their persistence will force the government to listen and make changes because the Ukraine people will not give up until a peaceful change is made.